Hey guys, happy Friday. Headed into Dollar Tree. I've got myself some Duncan. I am trying out their new pink velvet latte, which is a spin on red velvet cake. It's not too bad. And um, yeah, this is video number five of the week. I am pumping them out and I'm excited to see what this Dollar Tree has. This is my little secret Dollar Tree, I call it, um, because they always have little hidden gems. So I'm excited to get in here. So come on, let's shop. My life wasn't perfect, yeah, I know that now When it came crashing down All I know is that I need you around So some of you may remember a while back Dollar Tree had the huge mixed variety pack of these now and laters. This is way smaller and it's just the red flavors, but um, still a good deal. Loving the color combination on this box, I actually ended up going with this. I'm going to add it to my uh, coffee bar. Sometimes I'll use these decorative pieces to raise up different, um, you know, other decorative pieces to give them different heights for a, you know, a better aesthetic. So I'm seeing these Valentine's Day bundles and I think it's a really fun idea for the holiday or any other occasion. You could always buy one of their gift bags and close it up and add a couple extra items or do your own thing. Um, this one has like a movie night theme. And this one has like a uh, Valentine's Day candy theme. They had a whole bunch of different ones and they are selling for $5. So I'm guessing there's four items and the bucket. Um, which comes up to five and obviously if you add extra you just pay the extra for them And here's some cute socks Oh my god, who remembers Jordash? Remember the song? You got the look, I want to know better. You got the look, that's all together. Oh my god, I really just sang that in the store. <laughs> You could always use these tins and fill them up with a variety of fun sized chocolates or whatever candies, whomever you're buying for likes. Um, that's just a different spin on the other, um, you know, old school classic cardboard heart boxes with the assorted chocolates in it. And I was just checking that card out, it's cute. Um, and these, so they have these, um, dotted raised dotted dishes in red I'm not sure if I've shown them before I felt like today I felt like I didn't didn't remember seeing them but then there's that little part of me that says that I did so yeah they had those this was cute the pretty little swirly pink into the um, white haven't seen those anywhere and then they have the heart candy breath, dishes all the moves we're making. Scared to death, and the ground is shaking.
this store seemed to have out more Easter stuff than my local surrounding stores, so I was excited to see that. How cute were these uh, <laughs> baskets? They're little mini baskets, but they're little carrots lined up all the way around. Super cute. So I was being nosy, saw the bunny on the box and I knew it was going to be new Easter stuff and that is showing that they have the pretty pastel decorative mesh. So eventually they'll be putting that on their shelves. Love the print of this gift bag, it's one of those giant gift bags. And I actually decided to stop at the party section. I usually stroll right past there, but they had some cute um, little fun ideas. These are picture frames, so if you, you know, have like... Um, kids or whoever the party's for, you just put that up, that frame up in front of your face and then someone takes a picture of you. Super cute budget friendly stuff that they had here, like if you can't afford uh, an official photo booth person, you know, then do your own thing. Then I had to scoot on over to the organizational section, they had a couple new pieces. This is the spot where I was able to find my um, white bins and you will see, I'm about to show, that they actually had more and they have some additional colors. It's hard to find the white bins anywhere else.
I do remember showing this uh, Be Your Own Beautiful pencil case before, but it's too cute to not show again. I was happy to see that it was at this store. And they have out there uh, flip-flops. I mean, I've still been seeing flip-flops in the stores, but um, these look like they're freshly stocked. Some new prints, new prints in there as well. So I was excited to see that they were still well stocked with product from the new Bolero collection. I do end up buying the double pack of hand cream. I figured for a dollar that makes them 50 cents a piece being that there's two. And I figured if it works, yay, if not, then I didn't spend too much on it. I put one in my purse and one in my car. They actually did work. I wasn't crazy about that specific scent, but it wasn't too bad for that price. Checking out the uh, Bolero shower steamers. I guess you drop them in the bottom of your shower and it gives a nice refreshing fragrance. I was excited to find this. I can't find this soap in any other store. The Blueberry Bliss. 
um, and it's plant-based soap. Um, if you watched my previous video, I was searching for the word glycerin soap. Even though it's not clear see-through, it still had that vibe to it. Um, but it, it lathers up really good. I like it. And it's a big bar, too, for a buck. So, yep, I was happy to find that. So I'm guessing this is Dollar Tree's version of a Nutrigrain bar. And another section I normally just breeze past, but this definitely caught my eye. They have cod tilapia, tilapia, however you pronounce it, and salmon fillets at the Dollar Tree. Like, how awesome is that? Not sure how they taste, but um, based on just the packaging, since that's all I have to go off, it actually looks like something that would possibly be at Target. Do you see it or is it just me <laughs> and then I'm about to show this six pack of soft pretzels these are good like pop them in the microwave I've never had this brand but I usually have them with like mustard or some people do cheese but yeah I was surprised they had some nice finds in the uh, freezer section but yeah guys we are heading towards the end of the video I gotta thank you if you made it this far please subscribe if you haven't already and I hope to see you in the next one bye